that's confirmed. Town Hall 14 is easier than Town Hall 11 with Siege Machines. 100% confirmed. Nobody can contest that anymore. It's a thing. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. We have a really cool tournament going on right now. It's Town Hall 10 all the way to Town Hall 14. It's one attack per player and a single elimination until we reach a grand final. So we need to get out here and win this war. Cheer us on. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to use code Eric. Now let's go dive into it. All right, we're live. Brinks, our Binks coming in right at the start of the war, going against me with E-Drags. This is one way to open up a war, isn't it? <laughs> Don't waste any time here. Just charge the number one person on the map with E-Drags and just call it good, all right? <laughs> Let's see if it works out for him. He's gonna E-Drag out the left-hand corner. He'll send in the King and the Queen to work on the right side and work along the edge. He's got a blimp that he can use to go snipe the town hall. He can send that... Where does he want to send that from? The right? or through the E-Drags. I guess uh, he has to get the Town Hall though with it. E-Drags are clumping up pretty tightly on the right side. His Warden just got wrecked by those uh, by those Headhunters. That was good. <laughs> almost got him down, almost got him down. All right, well, the left side flank is falling very, very hard. We got the blimp for the Town Hall. And it will reach it, looks like. Okay, all right, got that down. Queen will grab out that air defense over on the right side. You guys are starting to clump back up and start to work into the top corner. He drops in the road champion to go get the multi up there. Uh, does he have enough here? The RC still has her ability. He pops her ability right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where is this queen? Is queen still alive? What? <laughs> Did I just get the EJAX spam tripled? What the? Did you... Did he just E-Drag spam me? <sighs> well, that's not cool. <laughs> they hit me at Town Hall 14. It's time to go smash him at Town Hall 10 because that's how we deliver sweet, sweet, sweet revenge. You ready? We're going live. In three, two, one. Zap mass switch with a siege barracks. Here we go. Okay, we want to do the queen one first here because she needs to be in a very specific position. We'll wait for her to be right here. One, two, three, four. Quick to hit all that. Boom. And quick over here to hit all that. So one, two, three, four. Okay. And then we will go golem, golem, which is. Each barracks. Killers. More witches. Put the king and the queen down in just a second. We'll hold up on those in just a second. Uh, actually, I'll deploy more on the left side here. Just so they can go into the jump. Get the jump right about... About here. Okay, hey, CC's pulled. The What's that? Yep, I see. This I see. Is behind the okay, I'll hold on to this balloon here in case any uh, Tesla's... Ernie, uh, Tessa's coming to corner. Pop the king. Okay, hogs are the siege barracks. Ooh, they got the heal. <laughs> All the giant bombs going up there, but that's not really gonna hurt me Another too bad. Down. Yeah, we'll throw down. Good idea. Yeah, all right, we're looking good. We're looking good. My witch is up on the top flank there, do what they're supposed to. Then uh, we're good. I guess we have so much coming around the bottom flank. I did catch a black mine, saving the healers over there. That worked out nice. Yeah, there's like nothing that's gonna stop this. This is crushed. <laughs> All right, oh easy God. day. The healer's doing work. The healer's doing work over there. And we got all the wizards generated from the siege barracks. Yeah, that's good stuff right there. We got plenty of time on this too. And we, uh, how do we get that wall open right there? That's convenient. We'll look right out of there, huh? Yeah, look at the, look at the mob of truths that we have here. <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop that. Yeah, this is this is beyond crushed. <laughs> And the queen's out in front there to trigger traps in front of the witches. And we have the healers to keep everything topped off. Yeah, there's a giant bomb. That kills a couple of the wizards, but that ain't gonna hurt nothing. 
We're good. We got this. Easy day. All right. Easy trips. Up that uh, swag queen ability there. Go pick up that corner hut. And we're golden. Let's go. Easy day. Town Hall 13, live against Arch. It uh, looks like they blipped out the Town Hall here. And he's gonna be coming in with a Queen Charge Dragon Rider attack here. He's got a mix of regular wall breakers and super wall breakers, and we'll see what he can do with it here. He's got a lot of rages. Obviously going for a big Queen Charge here. You got the King coming to the bottom corner. Is he going to wall break? He is. He sends in a couple rocket balloons to go snipe off that Inferno. That felt like a little bit of a backup plan. Try not to waste freezes. So I don't know if that was intentional where he intended to use those uh, rocket balloons if he wanted to use them this early, but he had to. Although he could have used a freeze as well. That, that would have worked. He doesn't go all the way in the compartment. He's going to go all the way to the next compartment over. He's got more wall breakers, so we can leave that compartment and go beyond there. He sends in both of his wall breakers. Hasn't used his super wall breakers yet. And he will get the walls open. That's the wrong wall. I think he wanted to go to the core there. You think he wanted to go into the uh, core, into the scatter shot? Yeah, definitely. All right, well, uh, he's not going to get there, obviously. <laughs> yeah. If he could get the queen to go get the other air no, defense there, then he can still get some. But he does get the wall open there. Is he going to go in? I think he is, actually. Yeah, look yeah. at that. Wow, okay, right. okay. All right, so Dragon Rider's in from the right. This base. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll freeze up to get through the Warden statue. Get the air defense down, or the Warden ability to get him through the Eagle Strikes. Rage up the queen again. Does he have the Headhunters coming in? There comes the Headhunters, helping deal with the enemy heroes. His queen's gonna have to go to ability, though, before... The headhunters arrive though, but he will get the enemy king down. He'll get the enemy RC down. The headhunters will go straight to cleanup. He still has an RC yeah, ability true. and a couple freezes. I think your base is rip your arch. <laughs> this, is a, this is a really nasty queen charge. That's a good queen charge. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's wrecked. Unless he time fails. He's still got time fail. He's only got 20 seconds left. Hold on. Hold on. This might hold. Hold the front door. But not open for him. Close it. Clo Somebody 14, close the front door. <laughs> End this right now. 10 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 10. No, He's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. <laughs> Let's go. Godly defense there, Arch. Godly defense. <laughs> that base was held four times now, so. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a time fail, but uh, I mean, we'll, we'll take a time fail. We'll only get one attack in this war. One attack per player. We need to... Coming in with a Pekka Bow Bat at Town Hall 11. Now, this one is one that I haven't seen in a little while. We'll see if we can get it done here. He's going to start in with the Pekkas at the bottom corner here. E-Drag over on the side. One healer comes down for that Pekka. We'll see if that ends up getting targeted by that air defense at any point. But he has the Pekkas following right in where the Log Launcher is going to be entering. And he's going to punch right in the base here. The air defense does shoot down that healer. He'll be down one healer because of that. But he'll rage up on his entry. It's looking good here. Queen will take out the Eagle Artillery quickly. It'll get another strike off and be able to take that strike. Go into the right side. It's the Pekka's... Or is that the King over there? The King is taking the healers and drawing them off all the way to the right. It's the King and the Pekka's. Yeah, the King and the Pekka's in there. Okay, okay. He really just needs the Queen to survive and take out this Multi-Inferno on the left side. He's got a Wizard over on the left side. Takes out a Wizard Tower. He's got the Yetis here working. He's still got to get through the enemy king here with his, uh, his queen. She's not going to make it. Uh-oh. Gonna secure this town hall. We have two. Don't miss this town hall, dude. Get that minion started in the town hall. That's like, from, now. That's from 12. Yeah, he needs to send the bats in from 12 to clear the defenses. Oh, no. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, you better not one-star this. You better not one-star this. Getting the pack because they're circling up, but they're going to end up attacking the wall there. Yeah, oh, uh, what's he gonna do about this town hall? Why doesn't he have a minion working on it? Like it could have been working from the start. Yeah, he can. Oh, I put it on the mortar. Well, if he gets the mortar, then ah oh, no, we can get the wizard maybe to take it if the. The sneaky got it. 
Okay, he's got to sneak goblin to help out to I'm speed it up. Up. Okay. Come on, don't miss this town hall. Don't miss this town hall. I don't. I, it's, a, it's fine to fail. Just fine, yeah. okay. He's, he's got it. He's got it. Okay. Oh jeez, give me a heart attack here. Give me a heart attack. Well, eighty something percent here. Pick up a little bit more of these uh, builder huts, and that's gonna be it. All right, eighty-three percent will be the final here. A miss at Town Hall Eleven. Hurts, but he had everything walk on him. He needed everything to fall to the core, and he did not funnel over on the right side here. Big open compartments make it difficult. All right. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Cool. Live at Town Hall 11. We got one miss. We can't afford two. He zaps out the air defenses on the right side of the base. And anything else that was around him, you can see the wreckage over there. So we arrived in the tech here <laughs> right as he finished his uh, lightning. But uh, it looks like his queen will clear out the bottom side funnel. That leaves one air defense there. And he'll put a hound on it and charge it with the dragons. The king trying to get through the town hall to make sure the dragons don't have the path over there. He'll pop his ability. He'll get the arch towers down and clear that section of the base. Out comes a witch and some headhunters there. But I think there was a little bit of ground CC in there that's never going to deploy and keep the king away from it. Glamour hits a black mine. It's a little bit unfortunate. He's not getting pathing into that multi-inferno there. Hasn't used his ward ability yet. Should use it soon. Like now. Pop it now, pop it now, pop it now. Okay. Oh, he barely saved the... He barely saved the dragon that was uh, getting struck with a black mine right there. And the slammer opened up the balloons out and took out that top multi-inferno. He still has to get to that queen on the backside. So he's going to have to rage up when he arrives to it. But he has to hit it with enough force there to actually make so that he can take it down. He'll rage up the dragon. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, the queen, take it, the queen, take it, the queen. Yes, got her down. That was the last obstacle on the base here. It's a triple and cool. We'll bring one into Town Hall 11 for us. So, missed one, got one. Hopefully, we can stop one of them on defense and... And hopefully hold one of our own. That'd be really useful. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Aqui live at Town Hall 12. Here we go. With a drag bat. All right. They'll come in with a drag bat going against the Eagle Artillery with a with just the king and the queen and an ice golem. He can get himself to go in there. He got a we got another live attack that's going in simultaneous with this one, but uh, we'll ignore that for now and see if Aqui can get this. We'll dive over to it in just a moment. Let's see how it goes. But he does get this uh, King and the Queen to go into the Eagle Artillery. He's got the E-Drag down in the bottom corner. And it looks like he even used a little bit of lightning to take out some of the buildings down there. That'll leave him one Rage for the Dragons. And he needs the Blimp to travel through and take out this Town Hall. Not a lot of damage around the Town Hall. So he should be able to do that without too much trouble. A Headhunter comes out of the CC. That means there was a Lava Hound inside. And he's never got to deal with it. As long as he never passed any ground troops in there. His queen will step all the way through there, and she still has her ability. She'll take out the storage, and then the pathing for the dragons even tighter here. But they got to get that multi inferno in the middle. He does successfully get the town hall down with some sneaky goblins and some yetis. And he starts to bass over on the left side on top of that wizard tower. Now, he only has one more freeze after this, and he'll have to use it as the bats come up onto this last wizard tower. He does have the dragons chasing a lava hound right now. It'll be a little bit of a problem. He has the bats arrive. Oh, they don't get the wizard tower. That leaves him to leave up the air defense on the back side. Oh, he shouldn't have froze that uh, first one there. He made a mistake. He made a big mistake here. But the bats come back. They, they come back. They're inside. Take out the air defense or at least take it for a while. Come on. Come on. Drew some pups over there. Oh, they're stuck on the king. They're stuck on the king. Come on, Aqui. Come on, Aqui. Oh, no, 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 no. He's got the cleanup work on the left side. The king is almost down, but not quite. Stay away and... Oh, he's not going to get the pathing into it, is he? It's going to be a fail. Nice try, Aqui. Missed the bats there. But we're live at Town Hall 10 on the other side here. So let's dive in and see what we got. This one's a triple. It's a triple. Looks like he did uh, a little bit of a zap mass witch. Or actually, no, it's a, it's a gobo witch here. Interesting. Raj, Town Hall 10. Can't miss this one. Coming in with a queen charge minor attack here. I love a queen charge minor attack here when we have access to a Siege Barracks. I often, when I do the Town Hall 10 
top attacks list that we uh, tend to put together sometimes. I usually leave siege. I, I usually leave uh, minor attacks off at Town Hall 10 unless we have a siege barracks. But when we have the siege barracks here allowed to be used. It is extremely powerful to use this strategy because all you got to do is charge your way in, grab out one Inferno, and fight the CC, and at least go a decent ways in the base. If you get Bomb Towers, that's just a bonus. You got a Bomb Tower right there. And then after he deals with the CC, he uses the Siege Barracks on the outside of the base here to form a funnel. It's extremely powerful. If you're a Town Hall 10, then this one is one of your best ones to practice a Queen Charge and still get the consistent triple. While not burning up a, a lot of Dark Elixir at the same time. So it works out really, really nice. Alright. He'll freeze up the enemy queen here as he engages her. He'll drop that. And here we go with the king on the outside. The Siege Barracks will come down because the Siege Barracks deploys outside of the range of the defenses. So you don't have it getting targeted because it does lose its health there over time on its own. And it'll generate more wizards if it's deployed outside the range of defenses. And if you had to put it close to one, then put a giant or something or the king out in front of it. But he's looking good here to start it off. The queen is being through a wall. Her healers are getting targeted because the sweeper keeps knocking them back. But actually, they oh, they, maybe they get away there for a second. <laughs> they can't decide what they're doing over there. But the queen breaks the wall. She'll grab out the wizard tower in the middle of the base here. He's got the heal over the bomb tower. And he can heal again as he goes into the multi-inferno. He's got hogs deploying out of the siege barracks to come in after the wizards and the P.E.K.K.A. finish deploying. Heal them up as well. And they can all work together here to go in and take out that multi-inferno. The... Hogs work together with the Miners, taking out the defenses while the Miners clear out all the Skelly Traps and all that. Works out really nice. He's looking like he's got a nice push going to the back end of the attack here. He's got a whole bunch of Wizards out at the bottom with the Miners out in front tanking for them. If he gets that Arch Tower down there, he's home free from here. He's got another heal for the big pack of Miners over on the left side. And the space is absolutely crushed. Raj coming in here with the Queen Charged Miners, supported by a Siege Barracks. And uh, I would say this is one of the top Town Hall 10 strategies in the game. When you have Siege Machines. Outside of that, I would say tend to avoid it if you don't have Siege Machines. You're not going to have enough support for the Miners and you're going to time fail and funnel fail a lot. So, nice clean attack there from Raj. But Town Hall 10s are cleared. Ali live against Aqui at Town Hall 13. We've got a P.E.K.K.A. smash with two jumps here. We'll be using a Yeti Bomb to go into the Eagle Artillery here and... Try to get the single Inferno out as well. These are going forward. Okay, they do get the single Inferno and take out some of the Teslas as well. They're starting with... Is that the Queen or the, the Warden up there? That's the Queen. The Healers are getting targeted a little bit there. Lose a little bit of HP on those. And they'll need some extra support here to get this enemy King down. Sends in a Headhunter to help with that. We need a little bit of time to get healed up. He's... I only see three Healers there. Is there four? Did he lose one? I think he started with five, and he's down to four now. But he's got the headhunters pulled out of the CC. I think he only got a partial CC pull here. So he's still going to have to deal with the rest of that. But he did get a couple of headhunters out, and we'll see what else comes out of there. We got Baby Dragons down the line. Ice Golem will join. Queen's getting targeted by the Expo, and that's not going to let up for a little while here until he gets a little bit further into the base. And he can... Uh, he might just have to kill that expo before he can get the healer transfer onto the P.E.K.K.A.s. Super Wizards come down, but the Super Wizards are all going to walk on him here off to the left. The King is not getting the value, and he's getting targeted by the single Inferno. The left flank is going to hurt here very, very badly if he can't get it back under control. And the Super Wizards are just going to get smoked out there. All of them on the outside. He hasn't used his ward ability yet, and he's uh, pushing towards the Town Hall. He drops in the Royal Champion, but not before losing every single one of those Super Wizards. Got a jump for the back side of the base here. But he doesn't have as much firepower as he'd like here. Send the Royal Champion to go support at the Town Hall and wrap around it. She's going to take the Blast, though, and get wicked up pretty heavily there. Also getting slowed down by the Freeze Blast. Okay. Queen. Oh, Queen's going down. This is a defense. This is a defense all day long. All right. Easy day. Nice nice base, Aqui. Aqui holds. Arch is live. Here we go, guys. Coming in with... A Pekka Smash. Gonna go in with the Warden Walk to start it off here. Couple balloons searching for black mines. Zap out the single Inferno and the Expo. A little bit of damage on the next compartment over. Taking out the RC pad. Warden Walk will take out the storage and then he can get ready to go in. If he wants to Warden Walk all the way up to the storage here. The Elixir storage. It makes so Wall Breakers won't target that compartment anymore. It makes so we can Wall Break deeper in the base here like he... 
Sounded like he's planning to do. He sends in a couple blues to go take out that uh, arch tower on the corner. Super wall break into the base here to get the P.E.K.K.A.s in. Witches work on the outside with the king. One of the P.E.K.K.A.s walks on him. That's perfectly okay as a uh, Tesla farm is popping up in the area. And he can use the extra support. The eagle will strike that. Actually, the eagle striking the queen. I don't know what he's doing there. But he, he has the jump to carry him into the deeper parts of the base here. He wall breaks in the king to go into the scatter shot. I really like that. Uh, when the planning there, we are uh, suggesting that he probably should do that. But he uh, didn't want to initially. But he does make it to the town hall with the blimp. He's got the CC pulls. Go to the middle of the base here. The king takes out the scatter shot. Everything looking good there. He's got the enemy king engaged. He's getting ready to send in the royal champion from the right side as soon as that king goes down. And now we can send it. There goes the royal champion. Perfect. Okay. Everything looking fine here. He's got another freeze. He's got another headhunter. He can use that headhunter whenever he engages the enemy royal champion. She send it right about now. As the queen will lock onto her in just a moment. He's a little bit late on that. Okay, Headhunter will go to clean up. It'll actually end up dying over there. RC will pop her abilities. He still has a queen ability here, so we can still move a bit more through the base here with this queen before she really is going to be uh, threatened heavily. It's really the Grand Warden statue on the backside that's going to cause the most damage here. But he has the healers topping everything off. The queen ends up surviving. She's getting hit by the mortar right now, so... He'll have to pop her ability here as this giant bomb goes off, and he'll get through a couple defenses with that. The RC will drop right here, so he'll lose her. He's still got 50 seconds, and he's got the healers on the P.E.K.K.A.s, and the Queen is still alive. She's going to beat through the wall, and she'll catch up. If the healers would transfer over to the Queen and top her off just a little bit, that would be super useful. And yes, right on cue, one of them does. He still has to get the tanking for the Grand Warden statue. He's got all the archers there, though. All the archers from the Queen ability... Might help out a lot with that, but there's a lot of damage here. There's a lot of troops here. He's got it. This is crushed. All right. Easy day, Arch. Bringing one in at Town Hall 12. We got another live. Let's bounce out of here and go dive in on the other side as they come with the Town Hall 11. I said they're starting in with a... What is this? A uh, P.E.K.K.A.? No, it's a Super Archer Bat Attack here. He's got the Wall Wrecker or Log Luncher, whatever it was, that shot him... All the way into the base here. He's got the super archers that are kind of splitting between the outside and the inside. There's a P.E.K.K.A. on the outside that'll work with them, though. I think they'll continue to get value out there. He drops in the bats along the bottom side. Now, he's going to the town hall really, really late. So, if something goes wrong in this attack here, which it already is. He's getting that multi inferno targeting his bats here really heavily. He'll freeze it up and try to get something else to lock onto it. The P.E.K.K.A.s are breaking the wall and going towards that compartment. This could be a one-star. He loses all the bats. What? Come on! <laughs> Uh-oh! Oh no, this is a terrible plan! This is a terrible plan! Why did he do this? <laughs> Alright, so he's trying to get the town hall down. He's got a couple more wizards. He'll drop him in right there. He will get the town hall down. And at least get the two-star here. He finally gets that eagle artillery. But he doesn't have much left for troops here. It's gonna be a big defense here. The dude. He's not the dude today. He He's... He's just the guy. He's that guy. <laughs> oh, rip. Nice try. Nice try. It's a big old fail. All right. That's good. That's good. That'll uh, mean that we missed the Town Hall 12 or 11 and they missed the Town Hall 11. So we're tied to Town Hall 11. We'll take it. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready to start? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Go okay. ahead. All right. What's the one? Okay. Here we go. We're going live. In three, two, one, here we go. Oops, wrong base. Let's go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Two, one. Get the team right here. Team right here. This wall break. You didn't get the arch tower. I know. You didn't get the wall break either. Yeah, I know. But yeah, I did. You're lying. Now you got it. Now you did. I'm just joking, man. Calm. You you're you're joking. joking. I'm like, pop your king. Pop your king. Pop your king. Fine. Mm, pop your RC, maybe. 
No. She's fine. You better. Don't forget to zap. Oh, you got the Inferno? Yeah, don't forget to zap. That's actually insane value. Okay. Insane dragons? Oh, you missed your zap. What? You did, apparently. But somehow. How did that miss? Did you do five and one? I don't know how you missed that, to be honest. You did it all on top of the Inferno. Game's broken, confirmed. Yeah, I'd say so. Alright. Put a minion on the uh, Dark Elixir Collector at 3. Plug your yeah. warning. So I don't see a minion on that Elixir Collector at 3, Eric. Got it. You ask for spotters and don't listen to them? My god. Jeez, I'm the worst. You could get that scatter and you're good. Oh, Queen, you can freeze it. Just, yeah, just spam freezes on it. Okay. Am I right here? Okay, Queen's fine. She's got her unicorn. I'm gonna let us let her, the scatter shot beat on her. You can pop her early and just get the scatter. That's no, fine. Let her She's the freeze for the arch towers. GG. I nice said. Okay. And. Our backside. Up queen. You can freeze the storage if you want. Thank you. Oh, I missed one. Dang it! Oh, ah! come on, Eric. <laughs> you missed the storage. I to did. Freeze. I did. That was embarrassing. <laughs> oh, rip. Did I go with the wrong? Did I just swag all my lightning and still triple? That was pretty impressive, right? I'm pretty awesome Look at the at this video. Game. I don't know. Look at the replay. I don't know how you missed the zaps. Seven, eight. Yeah, the battle of Oh, the battle of really saved it. <laughs> uh, rip stupid battle builders. I should have um, put the quake first to get the battle builders to go repair their own huts instead of turning onto the multi. Good luck, don't choke. There you go. Thank you. Get him. Three, two, one. All right, now I'm gonna play some sneaky goblins. What are we gonna do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Yeah, fancy, I know. RC. Nice golem. King. Well, test is probably not going to get that scatter. Yeah, probably not going to get that scatter, sadly. It's fine, though, I think. With the eagle. You can start the best drink yeah, on the scatter eagle. when you get there, so I'm not too worried about it. Is that, in fact, it's at low HP. You could even put, like, uh, I don't know, we'll think about it, man. This right hand going down. Oh, Queen? Oh, never mind, she's already in. Get the archer to draw the hand out of the way. Um. Yep. Yeah, I got it. One dragon will split off up there to it. That's fine. You can work with that. Here we blimp. Oh, I got me. I got baited. Uh -huh. Maybe one star. Uh hmm. Uh oh. Uh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Ready at the town hall. Oh, rip it, Queen! <laughs> Lack is live, town hall 14. This is where we need to get a triple here to make up for that one star. Let's go. Let's go. Got the Queen with an ice golem coming to the top corner here, going after the Eagle Artillery. Got a headhunter to deal with the enemy king. Lock that down. A wall break on the opposite side to get the, the king in. 
to go fight off the enemy queen. Nice golem comes down with him a little bit later. Nice golem. It's not really gonna do much back there. But uh maybe it'll, maybe it'll do something. We'll see. We'll see. Queen has the unicorn keeping her up on the top side there, so she's with her ability, she'll survive through that expo and then continue on. Probably will end up getting onto the hound though. He's got the ice golem over there. Queen will pop her ability to get through the enemy headhunters. That'll be the best use of that. Alright. Okay. Ice Golem freezes up the Lava Hound over on the left, and if he can get this air defense before the Ice Hound or the uh, Lava Hound comes back, he's in a really, really good position. All right, he's fine. He's fine. He can work with that. The Queen will go down. This is when he wants her to die. He could use the Headhunter on the opposite side of the base to lure the Hound out of the way if he needs to. He doesn't have another plan for it. Honestly, he should. You got, hey, Lack, are you listening? There we go. Perfect. A dragon starts to follow it. It doesn't last very long. We'll uh, end up popping it either way. But if he can at least get this multi down in the middle, he'll be okay. We got the blimp landed on the town hall. The goblins and a dragon pop out of there. He will get the town hall down. Okay, he's fine with that. Got a couple sneak goblins and draw the hound back over to the middle. Not exactly what he wants, but uh, we'll work with it. He still got the bats on the back side here, guys. So don't lose track of the bats. The RC will go in here and get the multi down. He'll freeze up to protect the. RC and the multi, or the RC and the bats here from that multi, but he'll still have to get the scatter shot. He's still got two more freezes and the invisibility. He'll freeze up now. The bats are making their approach. They're gonna get start getting shot by the air defense there. Freeze it up again. The big bat swarm reaches the scatter shot. If it goes down, he's got it. There it is. It's a triple lack with the triple. Calls it one out at town hall 14, and that'll make up for the one star there. And we can still definitely win this war. We're in a really, really good spot right now. We just need them to miss one somewhere. And we should be in a, a spot where we can uh, easily make a comeback there. <laughs> yep, yep. All right, everybody's just going to chill for a minute. <laughs> oh, there's the traps. Found him. He's got it. <laughs> Let's go. Nice hit, Lek. Town Hall 14. Here we go, guys. They're finally starting to swing back. Coming in with a Drag Bat on this one. Drag Bat is very, very powerful and uh, trying to make some use of its power. He's going to funnel the king to go down towards the Eagle Artillery. We'll see goblins there helping him out. And he should go in. The queen? No, uh... oh, the king's walking on him. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I don't think the king is going to stay in the base there. I think he'll go get that wizard tower. And he'll bounce back out. Yep. Okay. He'll get the eagle artillery out with the queen and... Won't get that wizard tower, I don't think. No, he will. Okay, okay. Well, that was a queen ability. If you get the king down, that'd be helpful for him. But he's... Oh, he might miss this wizard tower. Be a little bit of a problem. And needs that out of the way there for the bats to work their way through. His unicorn is still alive. That could be a little bit of a problem for him here if he ends up pulling the Lava Hound out with it. Doesn't quite. Doesn't quite. Unicorn died a little bit early. His one dragon split off to go finish off that wizard tower, but it doesn't get it. A balloon might go snipe it off, though. RC coming in from the right side will go after the multi-inferno. He doesn't get that wizard tower over there, so he's going to have to start the bats and deal with it somehow on that side. Look at an ice golem that he hasn't used yet. RC trying to work her way into the multi. He's going to start the bats in the top corner. Town Hall Poison is fading right now, and it gets out of the way there. I might pull a tornado trap here at the bats. Needs to be careful. It doesn't. Okay. Freeze up the wizard tower. A nice push. He's got another couple freezes here to lock down that wizard tower again. Oh, it gets a shot off, though. It got a shot off. You got the ice golem on the backside to help him get to the scatter shot. It will help him get into it. Okay. Freezes it up. He's inside the minimum range of the scatter shot, so he won't take fire. There's another freeze. He's got one more after this. He's got a lot of time left. Freeze up the expo. He'll go back for the archer tower. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. All right. They clear Town Hall 14s. We clear Town Hall 14s. Everybody OP at Town Hall 14, but apparently not at Town Hall 11. That's confirmed. Town Hall 14 is easier than Town Hall 11 with Siege Machines. 100% confirmed. Nobody can contest that anymore. It's a thing. Sorry, Town Hall 11s. Upgrade, and then you can fight Town Hall 14s, and somehow it's easier. 
All right. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, they're live in Town Hall 10. Finally striking my base. Coming in with Zap Mass Witches. Zapping out both of the Infernos here. One Quake spanned in between them. I think. Wait. Yeah. Yeah? No? Maybe? I don't know. He brought in two Quakes anyways. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> but he's going to go with a Log Launcher. Finds the Tessa Farm right out of the gate here. He'll start to work his way in. A Lava Hound is going to stall him up for a while while he tries to work his way in. Enemy Queen. Come on, Queen. Come to his Golem there. Take it out. All right. Well, he got a little bit of damage on the Golem. The Golem will at least go down to one break for a second. The Queen is going to end up following the Lava Hound on the outside of the base here. That's really nice. The Queen's going to go for a walk. I like that. In the middle out comes Yetis and Valkyries out of this log launcher. All right, this expo needs to do some work here. Like this expo, if it can kill some witches there, that'd be really, really helpful. The king needs to step over there and help out as well. But it looks like the witches are on it. Oh, come on, expo. Oh, that expo, I'm gonna stop him. I ain't gonna stop him. There's too many witches right there and they got all the skeletons attacking the wall. All right, well, that didn't work. Uh, what's my, oh, this expo over here. Yeah, there we go, there we go. This expo on the left side, targeting witches right now. The skeletons are walking away to go north, and we pick up a whole bunch of them there. That was nice. Wait, is this gonna one star? Come on, expos, hold. Hold strong, hold strong. <laughs> Let's go! It's a fail. But can he at least get the star or no? He'll freeze up to try to get the expo down. He still has a queen ability. It's obviously not going to happen for him here, but look at this. This expo is going to hold strong. Can he kill that witch? Come on, kill that witch. Yes, turn on the queen. Turn on the queen. No, don't go to the golem. You stupid expo. You're useless. All right, well. I think the skeletons will get that expo down. He's still got a queen ability. Oh, come on. Don't pull this through. Get the expo down. Fail this, please. Like, you were so close to failing it. Just finish failing it, please. Come on. <laughs> don't don't play with my emotions like this. He's in a triple it, isn't he? Oh my god, he's in a triple it. <laughs> he's got the skeletons passing up the queen here to get the tank on the arch tower. And now he's gonna be able to beat on a wall before he goes through, and he's got 30 seconds. Ah oh, I jinxed it. I jinxed it! It's a triple. Dang it! <laughs> I thought it was a fail. I guess that's the power of the witches. The power of the witches. They just keep on going. <laughs> All right, guys. It begins. The final onslaught. And the determination of the war. Coming in with a queen charge hybrid attack at Town Hall 12. I put out a video the other day showing my top Town Hall 12 attacks. My best list here. And this one... I think is right up at the top with the ones that I uh, put on that list there. I almost put it into the video. But the example that I had of it was what was a it was a moderate example. It wasn't exactly what I was imagining uh, that I'd want to put in for the uh, strategy guide. Ooh, this ability. Because it is a more difficult strategy because you have to be able to do a queen charge. He drops in a wall breaker there, but he can't target this wall because this compartment is completely open. So it went all the way over to the Eagle Artillery compartment and opened up that wall instead. Even though that one's only like partially enclosed, it sailed all the way through to there. But he does get the walls open enough for the Queen to step in, and he is able to get in here. So that second wall... Did he drop in two wall breakers, I assume? One way or another, he doesn't have a Queen ability. And he's going to start to take Eagle Fire here. He blimped out the Town Hall on the right side. And he's actually looking pretty decent here. The king will work on the outside of the base here. No siege barracks out there. It's just going to be the king by himself. A couple of tests are going to pop. He's going to have to fight off the enemy king. He sends in the hogs and the minus through the eagle artillery. Get that out of the way early. But he lost his queen. Uh-oh. I, <laughs> I have a good feeling about this as a defense for us. He got the healers transferred over, which will give him a chance here. But there's his king ability. Miners need to stay inside of the base here while the king works on the outside, but a lot of his miners are splitting and going out to follow the king, which I guess will give him a little extra support out there. There's the ward ability protecting both groups. He can't possibly pull this through still, can he? Or hope not. A lot of ground skellies here popping on him. He'll heal up again. 
The warden goes down. That's good. Yeah, this is a defense. There's no way. There's no way he's gonna pull this through. Lost his queen charge. He needed his uh, queen ability in the middle of the base and needed his king to do more funneling. And the miners getting stalled up for a really long time just did not take up very much of this base here. It's gonna be a big defense and a low percentage one of that. That is a big win right here for us in this war. All right. Still more to play here though. They can still catch up. But uh, that one's gonna help us out a lot. All right. They have to get at least one of the Town Hall 12s to stay even with us because we failed a Town Hall 12, so they have a little bit of wiggle room there. They have to clear these last two, though. And, well, I guess if we fail, then they could fail one. So I guess they don't technically have to. Yeah, it's going to be close. It's going to be close, guys. All right, here we go. Patel is live. Patel is live. Coming with a Queen Charge Lalo. Alright, hopefully nothing goes wrong with this Queen Charge. Hmm. Yeah, these... These bases with the Town Hall so far from the Eagle Artillery like that makes you feel like you could go with the Zap Witch and like zap out the multis and then charge a Log Launcher all the way across the base. Just really, really long push there for a Log Launcher to get everything all the way through there and have enough force in the Town Hall when you get there. So this is a very, this is a very zap, anti zap witch base. The air defenses are away from the infernos. You can't zap dragon this. Queen charges are a very optimal option here to charge the town hall when the CC is next to it. So we'll see if we can get it done here. The king ended up going into that compartment and got the enemy queen down, which really will be helpful to keep his queen alive and pushing. He's got to jump to carry him into the core of the base here, but he needs to get some funnel along the bottom to get the queen to actually step all the way into the, the multi-inferno. But we'll see if he can uh, keep her under control here. Okay. Minion on the outside. Looking fine, looking fine. Uh, nice little slow delivery push here. How far does he want to go with the queen before he starts to lala though? He starts in, okay, now he's gotta start thinking about starting the Lalo because the Eagle Artillery is activated. He'll put the jump down and he'll start the Lalo in from the top corner here. Starting the Stone Slammer first. Stone Slammer will make its way towards the Inferno. There's a Tesla in the top corner. Don't miss that Tesla up there. He drops in a couple balloons onto it, but it does kill a minion or two, which will hurt him on the cleanup. His queen steps through the wall. She has her ability used right there and she will survive and continue on. Well, she might exit out the bottom of the base here, but the slammer is making pathing into the core. If it turns to the right here, it'd be really helpful. The sweeper knocks it back and goes to the left. It should still go back to the core. He's got the high level balloons out of it and a dragon rider steps out. Dragon rider is very, very powerful to help him deal with the middle of the base here, but he's out of spells. He's out of the heal spell. The queen is circling around the bottom of the base here. I don't know she'll get the pathing in. He does get the Dragon Riders to take out the Multi-Inferno in the middle of the base. He's got to go back for the Expo. He's got the cleanup. He's getting it down on the backside here. Keep the cleanup away from the Expo. Do not deploy, deploy any cleanup near that Expo. He's going to get the Multi down. The Queen's Healers went down. He's got the Dragon Rider still intact here. He's going to cross back over. Get the Expo down. The Warden out in front. They're going to help out. It's a triple. Patel closes one out. And that's going to force their opponent to triple twice if they want a chance to win. All right. This is big. This is big. Let me look at the percentage and see if they have to triple twice. 26 to 20 right now. Percentage wise, they can gain a maximum of 20. Let's go. It's a win. We lock it in. They can't come back anymore. If they triple twice, they'll advance to 92.3%. Being as there are 10 players on each team and each player can contribute a maximum of 10% to the total. We have absolutely crushed them on percentage, and that is going to lock in the win here for Xenocracy in this round of the Black Widow Summer Mixed League Tournament. Let's go. We'll see how they close out here. I think uh, both of their last attacks are going to go simultaneous, but uh, we'll see what Charbdis, Char Charibdis is going to do here. A little bit of Zap Mass Witches, and just zapping out the Inferno's got a little bit of damage onto the Eagle Artillery. The other attack, the Tile 12, is live, and uh, this one's just going to coast through here. There's nothing really to watch on this one. We're just going to go over and watch the other one. This one, he'll just ward ability, fight out the CC, 
whatever. The witches are going to do the thing. We'll check up on it in a moment. It's uh, pretty much all deployed here. We are live at Town Hall 12 as they come in with a Queen Charge hybrid against Aqui. And we'll see what they can do on this one here. Let's see if this Queen Charge is going to be successful. And we'll bounce and see what they did on the Town Hall uh, 11 and see if they can end up getting that triple. All right, so... Gonna go in with the Queen directly into the Multi Inferno here. Good funnel here for the Queen to drive her right in the base. A couple tests were popping over on the top side of the Queen right there that he seemed to have dealt with. He'll get the CC pull here. The Archer is in a Headhunter and the Lava Hound. He'll freeze up the Headhunter to make sure it is uh, gonna go down there. Then he can rage up the Queen, get this Hound down. And then as soon as the Hound pops, he can drop the poison and. Get ready for the hybrid to go through the town hall. He's already got the siege bricks deployed with the king. And he'll try to push them along the outside edge of the base there. And the miners will start right in between the king's siege barracks and the queen and go right through this town hall. The king will hold the attention of the eagle artillery for now and keep that damage off of the miners and off of the queen. Go rage up the queen again and she'll step in there and get this grand board statue down, keeping that from picking off miners in there. He'll freeze up the expo to. Also reduce some of the damage there, but the Miners do take an Eagle Strike. They're grouped up pretty heavily here. There's the Ward ability, but it misses some of the Hogs. He's got more Hogs. Out. Oh, he just grasped his freezes in the back row. RIP. <laughs> oh, that hurts. That hurts. He's lucky that this was not for the win right here. I wonder if he can still triple it with the swag. <laughs> the swag heals. Um, he's actually still gonna pull through, isn't he? He's still gonna triple. Yeah, this still, this still looks like a triple. The queen will pop her ability. She'll get through the wall. She'll get the multi inferno down. He swags his heels and he's still gonna triple. Woo! Aqui, get a better base. <laughs> he just swagged it. Yeah. <laughs> nice base. Nice base. All right, well, it's a win either way. <laughs> he triples it and smacks the heels. That's embarrassing. All right, let's go and check at the Town Hall 11. It looks like he did not go through. That means we defended at Town Hall 11 twice. We defended at Town Hall 13 twice, and we defended at Town Hall 12. But the Town Hall 14s go down. That is just proof that Town Hall 14 is the easiest Town Hall level in the game. Alright guys, that's what we're going to wrap up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this war. I hope you guys had fun. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more Clash of Clans esports. And then join us back for another one. Take it easy.